Hello, and welcome to Go Eat a Carrot, where everyone should go and eat more carrots, or suck more dick, or eat more clit, unless you don't want to. Then it's perfectly acceptable to say no. And that's what I'd like to talk about today. Um, not consent, because that's getting tired. We all know that. Um, but how uh, it's okay to say no to people that just sort of rub you the wrong way in online dating or like do something that's a little shady or like just whatever, whatever the reason. It's, you don't even need a reason. If you just don't want to do it, just you don't have to do it. I have two examples here. I'm going to run through them really quick. The first one is I have my Instagram account connected to my Tinder so people can see that I'm a well-rounded individual that has friends and doesn't just take selfies all the time with carrots and bananas. Um, that's not really true. I basically just take pictures with, uh, my phallic diet thing. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so I have that just so you like can see that I am a real person and I have, I've had recently just all of these people, all these dudes direct messaging me through Instagram off of Tinder, even though we haven't matched. And most of the time they just say things like, Hey, and then I click on their profile and it's like a private account. Like what the fuck, dude? Do you think like you're the first guy to message someone on Instagram and you think a hey and you have a private account is going to work? Decline, decline, decline. Like, come on. Seriously? That's like fucking annoying. Just don't do that, okay? Like, if you find someone interesting and you didn't match on Tinder yet, well, you probably aren't going to. You might, but you probably won't. Um, maybe, I guess, follow them and then maybe send them a message that's thought out about, like, why you find them interesting. You're just, like, throwing out a thousand fucking fishing lines trying to lure whatever you can get in. And we know that. And it doesn't feel good and doesn't make us want to talk to you. So try something else. Just try something else. And if you're going to keep doing that, like don't expect much in return. You know, you're just not going to get it. You're not going to get it. Secondly, on that same vein... <clears throat> this guy sent me this text today and we had matched on Tinder and we had talked briefly in the past, um, you know, about my boy, Jake Gyllenhaal. I mean, Jake Gyllenhaal, let's do this. I'm like, I don't even know why I'm messing around with all these other turds. <laughs> Anyway, they talked briefly, and then he asked me some question about, would I rather go down on a guy? Would I rather go down on someone or have someone go down on me? Was the question. And I just ignored it. And then a month later, he sends me a message about, like, going out for a drink. And I'm like, I don't even know who the fuck you are. And then I went back on my Tinder trying to figure out who it was, and we're not even matched anymore. So it's like, I really don't know who you are. And then he's like, well, let me help with this memory gap. And I was just like, meh, emoji. He's like, uh, whatever. And then I was like, I just don't care. We talked one time a month ago. I have no idea who you are. 
And he said something like, well, that works out even better for me. So when and where do you want to meet? And I replied with, mm, how about the day after no, at no o'clock, at nowhere bar. Um, and I know that that is really fucking rude. I get that. But I also am just like, one, very irritable today. Two, very fucking tired from traveling. Three, just sort of like tired. I'm just like so fucking tired. I'm just like sick of it. I'm just like sick of it. You know, like, and like if you're sick of something, just like quit doing it. So like, I don't want to do manless May again for like the hundredth year. Um, cause I do like sex with men, but I just like, I also just like, don't, I just don't want to deal with it right now. And it's okay. And it's okay sometimes to be mean to people. I'm sorry. I know it's not okay. I know that you're supposed to be like fucking, you know, treat other people like you want to be treated. But I feel like that's kind of like equal par. Like not like talking to someone, asking them a weird sex question, and then not talking them to them for a month and then expecting them to know who you are and to also like want to go out with them soon. Like, no. Like, I think it's pretty, I think it's pretty fair to say no to that, but I still feel guilty. I mean, I could have been nicer about it, but like, oh, seems boring. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. Tell me that I'm wrong. Tell me that I'm a bitch. Tell me, like, you would never go out with this ugly ass gang. You know, whatever you want to do. Troll me. Let's do this. DM me on message, like, Instagram, you know, like, just send me a bunch of haze. Hey, hey, hey. We can have fun, y'all. We can have a really good time. These are getting really long. Thank you if you make it all the way through. Bless your heart. Just bless that heart. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye.